Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Tops Gypsy Queen Baseball. It's a five-box, half-case, random team break number three from a fresh case from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to these folks for getting into it. One spot gets you two teams, so let's double up that list. Thanks, Jeff, for closing out this break. There's all the teams right here. And let's roll the dice. Three and a five, eight times for each list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight times, we've got Marty down to Patrick K. Three and a five, eight times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight times, we've got the Cubbies down to the Pirates. All right, so Marty, you got the Cubs. Jeff with the A's. Patrick with the Rockies. Mike Marin with the Red Sox. Mark with the Twins. Greg with the Indians. Mark with the Blue Jays. Mike with the Orioles. Greg with the Rays. Michael with the Phillies. Patrick K with the Tigers. Chris with the Angels. Mark with the Padres and Cardinals. Ryan with the Royals. Marty with the Yankees. Jeff with the Brew Crew. Michael with the Diamondbacks. Jeremy Merle with the Reds. Patrick K with the Marlins. Jeremy with the Braves. Mark with the Mets. Chris with the Strohs. Michael with the Rangers and the Mariners. Nationals for Ryan Fisher. Mark with the White Sox. Chris, you got my Dodgers. And you got the Giants. Oppo Joe Mojo. Rivalry Mojo. And Patrick with the Pirates. Let's alphabet, alphabetize by team. And while you're considering trades, let's consider which half we're going to do right here. This is an old baseball that I got from the... Uh, from last year's Hops Industry Conference, from the Rockies Spring Training Facility. I stole that baseball. I don't think they missed it. We got to take batting practice in their in their, pra their practice facilities, which is really cool. All right, so there's five boxes on the left side, five boxes on the right side. Yahtzee? No, no Yahtzee. One, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. And it's going to be two, so we're going to do the left side right there. This we will save for next time. So this is break three, so this will be for break four. So there's four that runs all the way up here, so that'll be for next time. We can even do this tonight if you'd like. Doesn't look like there's going to be any trades, so let's close up the trade window. TWC means trade window close, and let's get a move on. There you go. You got Otani on the front, two on-card autographs per box. Let me drop the link for the variation guide, too, for people, just so you can keep track at home what you can keep an eye out for. Our shipping team... Where did I copy and paste that? Our, our shipping team will take care of... We're going to kind of breeze through this break and just kind of really look at just the serial numbered cards and maybe the uh, autographs. If I switch screens right here, you'll see that cardboardconnection.com. They've done God's work. Kind of breeze through these. Our shipping team will be looking at the serial numbers on the bottom to catch all of the variations so none of those will be missing when you get your orders. All right. Oh, I should print that list too. Rex is calling a book. Are there books in there? I haven't seen a, we haven't seen a book yet. 
Sometimes you feel like a book. Print. I like these chrome topper cards they've they've included in here too. All right, so there's the final printout right here on a Thursday. Or are there no books in Gypsy Queen? Didn't they used to be books in Gypsy Queen? TJ's calling a Chrome Auto. We haven't seen a Chrome Auto out of these packs yet. That'd be pretty cool. There are books. That's what I thought. Or does just whatever just not want to see a book? Maybe. We got some basketball going right now. Virginia, er, uh, Oregon, Oregon, Virginia, just starting, and a lot of baseball, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of baseball opening day. Glad to see it. Royals beat the White Sox five to three. My Dodgers pounding the Diamondbacks twelve to five. Padres shutting out the Giants two nothing. Um, Minnesota two nothing. over the Cleveland Indians. Rockies beat the Marlins 6-3. to three. Reds over the Pirates 5-3. to three. A's over the Angels 4-0. Cubs beating up on the Rangers 12-4. Astros beat the Rays 5-1 in extra innings. The Tigers beat the uh, Blue Jays 2-0 in the Blue Jays home opener. Phillies beat the Braves. 10 to 4. Milwaukee holds on to beat, to edge out the uh, Cardinals 5 to 4. Lorenzo Kane with a big uh, catch to finish off that game. Yankees beat the Baltimore Orioles 7 to 2. And the Mets in a pitching duel, shutting out the Nationals 2 to nothing. And the uh, Mariners currently have a 12 to 4 lead against the Red Sox right now in the top of the ninth. One out in the top of the ninth. So unless the Mariners just melt down, looks like they're going to hang on to win that one. Um, oh, you bought a whole case you didn't see a book. Yeah, I don't. I, I like TJ saying, I don't think they're like one per case or anything like that. So I think they're far more rare than that. The checklist should have information on that. All right. Good luck, everybody. So like I said, um, we're going to, just in the interest of time, I'm going to breeze through this a little more quickly today than we did yesterday on New Release Day. And our shipping team will be able to catch all the serial numbers or all the, we'll be looking at those serial, tiny little serial numbers right there on the bottom. And they'll use the variation guide to make sure that you get all of your variations. For the break purposes, and I'll be sure to try to show every card on the screen. So, come on, focus. There we go. Just for transparency purposes as well, so you can kind of double check. This stuff will ship too. Inserts. Oh, there's our first autograph, Cesar Hernandez. Almost missed it. Nice, Phillies, that'll be for Michael K. With the fight and fills. And there's Jeffrey Springs, 43 out of 50. Set that aside over here. We'll have our team top load those before they go out. And I'll try to catch 
some of the more obvious variations, like the one where they replace the GQ logo with the face. I'll try to catch that. If not, our shipping team will catch it. And there's Danny Jansen for the Blue Jays. There you go, Blue Jays, Mark F. On the board. Oh, you only did a box? <laughs> well, yeah, that is a big difference. Yeah, books are not super common. Out of 250, Zach Wheeler, I think, could have a really nice season this year. I remember the last time we did a significant amount of Gypsy Queen, must have been a couple years ago or something like that. And in all the breaks we've done, I think we only pulled like one or two books. And we must have gone through dozens and dozens of boxes. I caught that. It's a missing nameplate one. I like those tarot cards. George Springer, Archie Bradley. Box one in the books. Autograph. Let's see what we got here auto-wise. We have... Michael Franco or Mikhail Franco. We got Evan Longoria. And we've got a serial numbered Blake Snell. One, two, three out of 150. And that'll be for uh, Greg McKinnon and the Rays. All right, next box. Hey, you're welcome, Mark. Thanks for getting into the break. Um, any early season take, and it's a final in Seattle. Mariners beat the Mariners beat the Red Sox twelve to four. Rough day for, uh, for Chris Sale. Any big takeaways from from the first game? What what are some overreactions? After day one, my Dodgers beat the Diamondbacks 12 to 5. And I, I think almost everyone on the Dodgers homered. Austin Barnes hit a home run. Cody Bellinger hit a home run. Kike Hernandez bought, got two home runs. Corey Seager back healthy got a home run. Max Muncie got a home run. Jock Peterson got two home runs. So they're on pace for a lot of home runs this season. I'm most excited about Austin Barnes going three for four with a home run today. Having him at that catching position kind of get back on track is, uh, is what I'm hoping for. It'll be important for that Dodgers catching position. Keeps Russell Martin fresh as well for when we need Russell Martin. Presley White saying Eloy Jimenez won't hit better than 250. Let's see, the Royals beat the White Sox 5 3 today. Where's he? Eloy Jimenez went 0 for 3 with a walk and a strikeout. Eloy, like, Eloy Jimenez could still be Rookie of the Year, though, right? Ryan saying, as long as my Yankees win games, don't, don't care about any of the other teams. The Yankees might win... I think he's might win 100 games this year.
Rex is not happy that the Cubs let him go. Well, you got to hope for what will help soften that blow is if Jose Quintana has a great season this year. Then you'll be like, then you'll be like, whatever. You know, Eloy who? Oh, you're not going to say bad about anything other teams is what Ryan's saying. That makes more sense. I like how they throw in like random like Ty Cobb in here too. Michael Conforto, black and white. Saw a couple black and white autos the other day. Oh, those are serial number two. That's out of 50. Seven out of 50 for the Mets. That'll be for Mark. I think if these are not those indigo, that indigo color, it'll be serial numbered as well, just FYI. Christian Yelich hit a home run today. I don't know if he's going to get close to repeating as an MVP, but it's a good start thus far. Sorry, lost focus for a little bit. And there's Mike fulton Evitz. Old Fulty for the Braves, Jeremy Merle with the Bravos. That goes to Jeremy Merle. Rex mentioning that Quintana did have a sp good spring training. Q? Do, do, do they really call him Q? Rex saying Q did have a good spring training. I like that. Granky got worked today. Rough day at the office for him. And there's Daniel Mengden for the A's. Jeff Goldhaber, last spot mojo, strikes again. Is he, does he make the all-mustache team? I, he's up there. Modern. 2019 all-mustache team. And there's James McCann for the White Sox. That's out of 250. Oh yeah, we got Fulty and, and Mangdon, right? So those are our two, our two autographs. Let's see if we got anything else. Especial? No. No, that's it for now. All right, next box. Oh, forgot about this guy. Autographs? That would be a special. No, David Peralta for the Diamondbacks. Autograph? No, that's Anthony Rizzo, though. And this is serial number, and that's Cool Whit Merrifield. That'll go to Ryan Fisher. Merrifield went one for three today. Stolen base? No. Uh-oh, Rex's phone died. You didn't miss a book, did I? You missed all the books, Rex. Oh, there was like four or five books. We're like, oh my God, Rex, you totally called it. There are a million books here. We're like, where's Rex? So many, all the books. It was a cornucopia of books, Rex. God. It'll be on the, it, we're recording it. It'll be uploaded as soon as this break is over.
Oh, nice. You pulled one of a Mike, Mike Trout Terror card, Ryan saying? Yeah, $430 million fish. Yeah, that's that's higher than market price for trout uh, out here. I guess that's how much trout costs in, costs in uh, Anaheim. Santa Monica, I can just go, I live in Santa Monica. I can just go right down to the Santa Monica Seafood Kitchen. Rock right down there. Market price for trout, probably a lot less than that. So Rex, your your Cubs had a field day today. What, what who who was doing the damage? All right, Javier Baez. Chris Bryant had a home run. Javier Baez had two home runs. That definitely helped. Ten ten. Rizzo had a few walks. There you go. So Rizzo getting get himself on base. Albert Almora Jr. two for six. David Bodie. At second base, two for four. Jason Hayward, two for five. All right, Ryan says, I'm Filipino. I do catfish. Oh, okay. You do the thing where you go into the lake and you put your hand in a catfish hole. What's that thing called? Uh, I forget what it's called. What's it called? I don't know. You go, you go, you, you don't want to drown, but you go and you find a catfish nest, and you and you and you shove your hand in there, and then the catfish grabs onto you. But they're they're like toothless, right? So they they, they they grab onto you, and then you can pull a catfish out, and then you've got a catfish waving around your arm. You do do that. Apparently, drowning is the biggest thing because sometimes you have to row out into like, even if it's like four feet of water, right? Sometimes they'll drag you underneath. And sometimes snakes hide in those things, in those catfish holes. Yeah, so I know, right? Yeah, I'm not trying that. We're city kids out here. We're just, we're like, okay, I kind of like the idea of it. But then we're just like, no, I'm not going to put my hand in a in a hole where the catfish could have vacated that hole. Let's, let's break your need our hands. Yeah, we need our hands. Imagine, yeah. Imagine if we lost our hands. I'd, we'd, I'd have to learn how to break with one hand. Can't do it, yeah. Can't break arms. Might look different for some reason. Looks like he hurt his shoulder. He's like, ow. Right, Adam's like, I'm not I'm never gonna stick my hand in in, in a hole where I don't know what's in it. Spiders, snakes, who knows what kind of animals could be living in there. Uh, a snapping turtle, perhaps? Nick Williams for the Phillies, black and white. Oh. It's it's a thing. There's like videos of it and stuff like that. There's a name missing nameplate variation. That's for the Rockies. That'll be for Patrick K. And Jose Martinez is your first auto out of this box. That'll be for the Cardinals. Mark Frigo with that. There you go, Mark. Boom.
And Willie Adams for the Rays is your second autograph from the box. That'll go to Greg McKinnon. How the Rays fell to the, the Astros today. And Michael Brantley on the Astros too. Healthy Michael Brantley could be could be dangerous. At a two fifty, Kyle Wright for the Braves. I think Michael Brantley went two for four today with a home run. There it is. Hey Greg, no worries, Greg. I don't know if Brantley's underrated. It's just like he's just been injured. He almost won an he almost won an MVP. He just couldn't stay healthy for like two or three years. I know because I had him. <laughs> he was on my fantasy baseball team. I kept him for like three years in a row or something like that. And now, of course, I don't have him on my fantasy team. So naturally. There's Whit Merrifield. There's Dansby Swanson. And there's Eric Hosmer for the Padres. At a 150 for the Friars. I feel like a healthy Michael Brantley on the Astros is like... Like the Warriors getting to Marcus Cousins. Still haven't found an autograph in those tops, uh, in those chrome cards, those chrome box toppers. I'm hoping we can see those. Yes, those are autos. Yeah, some can be. And someone said yesterday, I forget who it was, someone said yesterday, they'll still give you the two autos from the box. Right, so they'll give you the two autos from here, and these could still be autoed as well, so you can get a bonus autograph. Yeah, Ducks are up 16-10. Go Ducks, says Patrick. Hey, King D, what's going on? We're just talking about your Astros and how, how Michael Brantley is like getting Michael Brantley on the Astros is like DeMarcus Cousins on the Warriors. I remember Michael Brantley almost got close to winning an MVP. What, three or four years back or something like that? I'm trying to look at what season that was. Must have been that 2014 season. I was like the last full season he played, 156 games, had 20 home runs, 23 uh, stolen bases. So he had a 2020 season, and he was hitting two, 327. Hit 327, so only had 56 strikeouts, so wasn't striking out a lot. Had 45 doubles, two triples, 97 RBIs. <laughs> Who won the MVP that year? He finished third in MVP voting. He probably finished behind Miguel Cabrera or Mike Trout. Mike Trout. Oh, yeah. Trout was pretty good. Trout had 36 home runs, 16 stolen bases, 83 walks at 287. Yeah, he's pretty good. Had a 7.6 war. Michael Brantley had a 6.7 war. That Mike Trout kid's pretty good. Victor Martinez was second with a 5.5 war. 32 home runs, 103 RBIs, a 335 batting average. Wow. Ah, that's exactly what it is, CJD. It's called noodling. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what it is. 
right? It's noodling where you stick your hand in, inside a catfish nest in, in a noodling. Oh, yeah. Thanks, CJ. Seems pretty dangerous. Fun, but dangerous. I'm not worried about the catfish itself. I'm definitely worried about like a water snake. A poisonous, poisonous water snake chilling in there. Ain't no one got time for getting bitten by water snakes. Who do I think will win the World Series? That's a good question. I mean, the Yankees. I feel like the Yankees were only a couple injuries away from really advancing deep into the playoffs. You can never count out your Astros, King D. My Dodgers. Got, we, got, we have really deep teams there. I mean, at some point... At some point, the Indians have to 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 get their s together, right? Knock one of the, knock a World Series out. I feel like the Nationals, you get the Nationals in the playoffs with Max Scherzer, Steven Strasburg, and Patrick Corbin. I mean that's pretty scary in the playoffs. And they've you know they've got more than adequate hitting. There's Max Muncy. Nice Max Muncy for my Dodgers. Big day for the Dodgers today. That goes to Christopher Gentry. Little Dodger Joe Mojo. Yeah, there that's the thing. It's tough. There's a lot a lot of good teams that are out there. Ronald Acuna Jr. I don't think the Braves are quite there yet, but I mean, Brewers, Brewers could do it with that with that bullpen. And the reigning MVP, they could do it. Nationals I think are a good bet out of the NL East. You know, Cardinals, Cubs, Brewers in the in, in that tough NL Central. Willie Adams to 250 for Greg McKinnon. Get those top loaded before they get shipped out, of course. Looking for one more autograph out of here. Or out of this box. Missing nameplate, Kenley Jansen. And there it is, black and white autograph. It's Chance Adams for the Yankees. It's got the Yankees in this one. Marty with the Bronx Bombers. I don't know, what does everyone think? Winning the World Series. Or if you have any knee-jerk reactions after day one. 29 out of 50 on that one. Autograph in here, maybe? We got Trey Mancini. Eugenio Suarez. And Miguel Andujar. 44 out of 150. Another one from Marty. Last box coming up. Then we'll do the uh, the Gold Rush jersey break.
And I'm not sure what we're going to do after that. I do see, see five orders coming in. So thanks to Ryan, Mark, Josh Gregory, Greg, Richard J. We'll see what uh, what they're what kind what breaks they're working on. Maybe we can help fill something up. Josh Gregory, speaking of Josh Gregory, did I Giannis went down? King D sent it saying that after after the Rockets season is over, whenever that may be, then he he can then shift his focus to baseball. Ideally, June for King D. You won't have to worry about the Astros until June. So what, Giannis down as in he fell down, then he got back up? Or Giannis like, you know, like broke an ankle? Speaking of the Rockets, is Ralph Sampson went on TV. I guess he went to Virginia. I have Virginia in this game. I have them winning the whole thing, actually. They're up 23-18 now. Two minutes left, two and a half minutes left in the first half. Indeed, hoping Harden gets MVP again. It's looking like it's gonna either gonna be him or onto the Gumpo. Ray Rice saying, you know I think it's underrated. Trevor Story. Is he underrated? I think a lot of a lot of teams in Western divisions are underrated because of the East Coast bias. All right, last box in this break, folks. Missing nameplate on the front there. I like Trevor Story. I I was in, I'm interested to see what what the uh, Rockies are going to do with all of those youngsters. They got Brendan Rodgers, right? Who could take. I guess who could take Trevor Story's spot? They got Ryan McMahon, David Dahl. They got all sorts of players. I guess they're starting to creep their creep their way in, but I guess they're not really prepared to do a full teardown and then youth movement. I guess, but we'll see. Uh oh, Ryan's saying your buddy goes for the Dodgers, and he's from LB, L Long Beach. Oh, it came to it came to blows. You guys are talking baseball. I don't think there's. Th wow. Nice Gypsy Queen autograph Indigo parallel Juan Soto. I've heard of him. He's pretty good. Ryan Fisher with the Nationals. Nice, that is strong. Uh, how did it come to uh, come to blows, Ryan? I don't think the Dodgers. And Yankees have had any any kind of rivalry since like the late seventies, early eighties. It's been a while. All right, last bit here. 
And there it is. Austin Meadows is your second autograph out of this box. That goes to Greg McKinnon with the Tampa Bay Rays, getting the former Pirates prospect. Nice. Maybe there's an autograph in there. Let's breeze through these first. There's Kevin Newman for the Pirates at a 250 for the Buckos. That'll go to Patrick K. Sign your cards, Juan Soto. FYI. <laughs> and there you have it. Wow, now I'm curious, Ryan. You're not going to go into details on why you got in a fist fight with your buddy? And you don't, you guys don't talk baseball anymore because of this? He might be watching, so you're not going to go into details. I think we're, I think the entire class is curious now, Ryan. you got to fess up. You're in a safe space here. A baseball safe space. No one's going to fight you here. Zach Cranky. Rugnet Odor. And no autograph. There's Matt Olson. That'll go to the A's. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. A really nice half-case break of 2019 Topps Gypsy Queen Baseball in the books. I guess we'll have to figure out next time uh, what's going to happen with Ryan and his Dodgers buddy. So we'll stay tuned for that. We'll see you next time on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.